That's right, just start doing the road work as soon as I start recording. Thank you. Yeah, that annoying sound isn't a sound issue, it's literally the bloody road works outside. Hey guys, it's Andy here. Now it's been a while since I've actually spoken to the camera. It's also been a while since I've um, uploaded a video. There is a reason, it's because I'm working on a personal project that's not really on YouTube. However, I may enlighten you in the future. As for this video, I'm going to show you how to sculpt one of these awesome skulls. Nice. Now if you know me, you'll know I'm a fan of skulls. I tend to wear them all the time on my t-shirts. However, today I am rocking gorillas. Now when I made this skull, I was going for a kind of more Mexican sugar skull mixed with a bit of a cartoony, urgh, sinister kind of skull instead of a more natural skull. So to make this, you'll need some clay. I always tend to use this white das clay, which you can basically find at nearly every craft shop. I also have a small collection of sculpting tools, once again from the craft shop. I also have a set of acrylic paints and paintbrushes. Don't forget to keep a bowl of water at hand, this will help keep the clay more mouldable. Right, let's get to it. So I began by grabbing myself a whole bunch of clay. I then basically moulded it into a rounded rectangular pillow shape. Also notice that I've rounded off the top where the head of the skull will be. I then used my finger to make an indent and squished down the rest of the clay so it looks like this. Next you can see I moulded a triangular shape which I used as the nose. Once I'd blended it all in, I decided that the nose was a little too big so I trimmed it down. There we go. It was then time to add the indents to the side of the skull. I basically made two triangular indents which lined up with the centre of the nose. Once I'd smoothed it out a little, it was time to add the eyes. Once I had the eyes dug out, I used the rounded end of one of the tools to smoothen the insides. Looking okay so far. Then I did the same with the nose. Try to ignore the annoying plastic bag that seems to be covering the lens. Notice how I slanted the bottom of the skull in like so. I also added some indents to the head to give it a more sinister look. Once again I decided to trim down the nose just before I added the jawline.
I decided his jaw was a bit too big and goofy looking, so I gave it a trim. Looking good. I then squished in the sides of the jaw to kind of give it a more menacing look. I then simply used one of the tools to carve out the teeth. After some final smoothing over, the skull was done. Nice! Once the skull had finally dried, I decided to paint it all over in black and then carefully paint the teeth white. I decided not to go for any crazy sugar skull designs, mainly because I'm really crap at painting. Overall though, I'd say it looks pretty cool. So there we have it, how to sculpt a skull. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, the links are down below. And other than that, I'll see you next time.